What is up guys, Kevin from Fashion Forward Always here, back with another Grailed Grabs. This week's Grailed Grabs is going to be focusing on the brand Saint Laurent Paris or Yves Saint Laurent. It's going to be basically their vintage stuff and their more modern stuff, so let's get into it. First up for outerwear is a Yves Saint Laurent uh, Harrington jacket in a size medium. This is going to cost you $120 shipping from the EU. This is just a very, very simple vintage YSL jacket. It's super, super basic. But I think that's like the beauty of it. It just has like a small YSL emblem. You can find plenty online, um, not online, well like basically on Grailed if this one sells through. I saw at least like five other listings for like a size medium. So definitely check it out. This is of like a very, very cool blue. It's perfect for like summer nights where it's like sort of cold but like not 100% cold and it's good for the spring. I would give this around an eight out of 10 mainly because this is worn a little bit you know, it's a vintage piece, but it still looks great. Next up is an SLP punk denim jacket in a size XL. This is going to cost you $500 shipping from the UK. Sure, this is a little bit pricey, but you kind of have to expect that with the SLP stuff. $500 for like this type of jacket really isn't too bad. It's not like pushing the envelope too much, but I do think it is a great value because the wash looks terrific. The hardware looks good. And you know, it really does give off that like rocker, like punk-esque vibe to it that I guess like Hedy was really trying to push, you know, that heroin chic type of deal. This is gonna be 10 out of 10 dead stock. Last up is going to be an SLP checkered coat in a size XL, but this is supposed to fit a little bit oversized just in case any of you guys wanted to know the fit. This is gonna cost you a whopping $1,350 shipping from the UK, but it is a little bit more than 50% off of retail, which I still think is super good because this this coat looks super thick, you know, uh, and then it gives off that, you know, like the Kurt Cobain type of vibe where it's like, it, it's that flannel, it's that like flannel pattern that I really, really like and I wish I was taller, you know, so that I could rock this, but I'm a short little Asian boy. <laughs> yeah. This is gonna be 10 out of 10 dead stock with tags. Now that we're done with outerwear, time for tops. And first up for tops is a SLP collaboration with the band Grimes, I believe. The seller has a medium up and an XL up. Current price for this is $181 shipping from the EU. I think this is a super, super cool design, especially since it's a collaboration sort of with like the lead singer of Grimes, because I know that he models for um, for SLP a few of their collections, so I think that's super cool. Both of these are going to be 10 out of 10 dead stock with tags. Next up is a gray baby cat tee in a size large. This is going to cost you $270 shipping from the EU. I think this is probably one of the most iconic prints from SLP. This is probably my favorite print, obviously, but... I do not like the plain like black and white print because I think that's too polarizing but this gray and black print, sweet money! This is going to be 9.5 out of 10 mainly because it does not look like it's been worn too many times, maybe one or two wears but it does not look like it's been beat at all. Last for tops is an autumn winter 15 geometric sweater in a size large. This is going to cost you $364 shipping from the US and I believe the lowest, the, the very lowest that I've seen this go was around like 250 to 300 so I'll Keep this in your grill listing or maybe offer around their price and you should be good. This is a beautiful, beautiful print on a very thick <sighs> sweatshirt. You know, I really, really like the sweat knit and everything. It just looks super cozy. Sure, winter has passed, but you know, spring still is kind of cold in some areas. And I just think it'll work very well with like either a cropped, you know, some dark cropped trousers and like, you know, some formal shoes. I think this will be like a super sick formal fit. Now that we're done with tops, on to bottoms. And first up for bottoms is a bleach blue denim in a US 31. This is gonna cost you $240 shipping from the US and this is just their basic, basic bleach blue denim. There's nothing like terrific about it, like essentially and like distressing wise, but I do think it's a great introduction if you guys haven't had any of like the YSL or SLP jeans, you know, definitely check it out. I believe the fit of this is going to be the D01 or the D01, whatever it is. This is going to be honestly a 7.5 or a 7 out of 10, mainly because it is missing the leather tag and it has been washed a few times, but I do not think that it has any tears or any marks. 
Next up is an SLP Distress Denim in a US 29, which can also fit up to a size 30. This is gonna cost you $369 shipping from the UK. This is also a DO1 fit, and I do like the distressing on this pair. I think it looks super, super nice. A lot of the SLP Denim, I really, really do like their distressing. Wow, there's a plane. Ah, that's that's great. That's great, man. So this is gonna be 10 out of 10 dead stock with tags. Next up is a stained distressed denim uh, in the DO2 fit. This US 32 pair of bottoms is gonna cost you $540 shipping from the US. I think this has a very interesting wash, mainly because towards like the knee down, it has this like stained wash, which I think looks cool, first of all. Second of all, I'm very, very interested on how the DO2s fit. I'm gonna put in the description how they fit the DO1 compared to the DO2. I would give this a nine and a half out of 10. Now that bottoms are done, we have shoes. And first up for shoes is an SL01 uh, white sneaker in a US eight and a half. This is gonna cost you $189. This is gonna cost you $189. Ah! This is going to cost you $189 shipping from the US. God, that was so hard to say. This is a very, very simple shoe. I believe it is, honestly, in my opinion, it's like an upgrade to like a Stan Smith. So it wouldn't really compare to um, the Achilles Low by Common Projects, mainly because the silhouette itself is a little bit wider, which I think like it is more comfortable, obviously, because I heard a lot of complaints about how the Achilles are like, it's very narrow and it, you know, the fit's a little bit off. This is gonna be around a seven and a half to an eight out of 10 mini because it has been worn, but it does not look like the leather has any scratches or bruises. Next up is an SL Zipper Ranger. This US nine and a half Ranger is gonna cost you, what? $350 shipping from the US. This is a very, very nice military style, like, boot and I personally don't think I can wear this but I can definitely definitely see some people wearing it as kind of more of like a rugged fit a little bit more of like an aggressive fit I'll give this around a 7 out of 10 mainly because on one side there is a little um, hole well not really hole but like a tear in the leather which can be easily sewn up and also I believe the the late the laces have been um, replaced with darker and uh, waxed laces. Last up is a Saint Laurent Wyatt nut suede uh, sneaker in a, not sneaker, boot in an eight and a half, which can also fit up to a nine. This is gonna cost you $675 shipping from the US. This iconic boot has super thick suede, you know, I really like the harness on the side. I think it really, really adds to the shoe itself. I think it looks super nice. The only downside for this particular model is that like the suede has been used and I don't think the previous owner really took care of maintenances and uh, the suede is a little bit hairy which you can easily trim down. It's not that bad at all. That's why I'll give this around an 8 out of 10 mainly because the suede is a little bit roughed up but you can easily easily trim it down. I have two accessories for this time. I have a spooky scary skeleton. This spooky scary skeleton is gonna cost you $249 shipping from the US and I think this looks super cool. You know except for the fucking meme I think this looks super nice. It is a silver 0.925 silver and I just honestly it looks super cool it looks <laughs> meme boys we in this shit huh next up is a brass snake ring which I believe will cost you $229 shipping from the US and this is for all you motherfucking snakes out there I know you if you a slithering asshole get this this fits both men and women because I believe the size is adjustable you can just kind of do that mm -hmm. both of these accessories are gonna be 10 out of 10 dead stock with their tags and boxes so thank you once again for tuning in for Grilled Grabs. I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Please like, comment your favorite items of this list and what other lists you want me to do. Always open to suggestions. And yeah, two videos every weekend. I'll see you guys later. Peace! Some cocaine, huh? I got you some great big cocaine, huh? Black doll heroin, motherfucker, huh?